Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Delight. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make adjustments for bed debts and provision for doubtful debts. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so and hit that notification bell to get notified each time I upload a new tutorial. Do you remember Nadia, the owner of the flower shop? If you want to know more about Nadia, you can watch the video in the description below. Nadia has a lot of customers that buy flowers from her. Some buy with cash and others buy on credit. The customers that buy Nadia's flowers on credit are called debtors. However, not all of Nadia's debtors will pay back the amount they owe her. Therefore, the debtors are considered to be bad debts. Let's look at this scenario. Suppose James owes Nadia $15 for the flowers he bought on the 18th of March but fails to pay back Nadia at the end of the month. This means that James' account has to be credited with $15 and closed off because Nadia is not going to receive any payment from him. The bad debt's account has to be debited with the $15 that James failed to pay back and this amount is sent to the income statement. Bed debts are an expense, therefore they are subtracted from gross profit in the income statement. Provision for doubtful debts, also known as provision for bed debts. It is an estimate of the bed debts that may arise from debtors. It is usually a percentage. The business estimates this percentage based on its experience from previous accounting periods. Here is an example that shows how provision for doubtful debts is treated. At 31 December 2019, the debtor's figure was $2,500. It is estimated that 2% of the debts will be bad and a provision is to be made for these. 2% of $2,500 is 50 and this amount is posted to the income statement as an expense. The provision for doubtful debts account is credited with $50. In the balance sheet, the provision for doubtful debts is subtracted from debtors. Reducing the provision for doubtful debts. Let us look at this example. At 31 December 2019, the debtor's figure was $2,500. It is estimated that 2% of the debts will be bad and a provision is to be made for these. Let us suppose that the total amount of debtors decreases from $2,500 to $2,000. We then have to calculate 2% of $2,000 which is $40. The provision has decreased from $50 to $40. Adjustments for this decrease have to be made in the provision for doubtful debts account, income statement, and balance sheet. In the provision for doubtful debts account, the opening balance is $50 and it is a credit balance. This account has a credit balance, therefore to decrease its balance, the account has to be debited. In this case, the provision for doubtful debts has decreased by $10, therefore it is debited with this amount. The account is balanced off and the decrease is recorded in the income statement where it is added to the gross profit as income. In the balance sheet, the provision is deducted from debtors. Increasing the provision for doubtful debts. Let us look into this example again. At 31 December 2019, the debtor's figure was $2,500. It is estimated that 2% of the debts will be bad and a provision is to be made for these. Let us suppose that this amount increases to $3,000. If we calculate 2% of $3,000, we will get $60. Initially, the provision was $50, but it has increased by $10 and it is now $60. This increase needs to be adjusted in the provision for doubtful debts account, income statement, and balance sheet. 
In the provision for doubtful debts account, the opening balance is $50 on the credit side. The provision has increased by $10 and this increase is recorded on the credit side. The account is then balanced off. The increase in the provision for bed debts is then recorded as an expense and deducted from the gross profit and the income statement. In the balance sheet, the provision is deducted from debtors as shown. That's it for this tutorial. Please like and share the video if you have any questions on this topic. Please leave a comment in the comment section below.